Welcome to the Two Minute Update. The Fort Collins Area Chamber is excited to offer to our membership this new electronic newsletter that will provide a quick download on what is happening with City Council each week. You can click on links below for more details on the issues that were in front of Council and other opportunities for sharing your thoughts and insight. Key topics for the July 14th City Council work session included a review of water supply planning within the growth management area, natural area land and water acquisition, and a review of city boards and commissions. While the natural area and board and commission topics were updates only, the water supply planning conversation was a very interesting one. The City of Fort Collins water utility is well positioned for current demand and future growth because of a diverse water portfolio. However, the City water utility only serves about 75% of our growth management area. This area is also served by the Fort Collins Loveland Water District, the East Larimer County or Elko Water District, the West Fort Collins Water District, and the Sunset Water District. The other districts, which serve much of our undeveloped area in Fort Collins, have a great dependency on Colorado Big Thompson or CBT water with market costs that are $23,000 a unit compared to $6,500 an acre foot for buying into the Fort Collins utility system. This results in many commercial and residential projects being unaffordable or unattainable. There is no silver bullet solution to this challenge of multiple districts with varying supplies, costs, and fees, but Council did express interest in increasing dialogue with the various districts to identify opportunities for collaboration. It was also noted during the Council conversation that the looming challenge for Fort Collins water utility is the expansion of Halligan Reservoir to increase the city's ability to store excess water for dry years. The city is working its way through the National Environmental Policy Act, or NEPA, process that requires the Army Corps of Engineers to release an Environmental Impact Statement, or EIS, that allows for the expansion. The draft EIS is expected to be released next year. While the city is hopeful that a positive record of decision will be released, Council is now asking for a backup plan should Halligan be denied. Those were the highlights from this week's Council meeting. We look forward to seeing you next week. Created using Powtoon.